We just got a new Halloween Fame Pass in Fall Guys. I'm actually a little bit late to make a video on this, but I still wanted to check it out because I love Halloween. So before anything else, you know what has to happen. I'm gonna buy the entire Fame Pass. All right, there we go, Fame Pass unlocked. Now we gotta buy all the tiers. Okay, I've bought 73 tiers so far. How many tiers are in this pass? 160 tiers? Is this the biggest Fame Pass we've had so far? This is is gonna be expensive and there we go we bought every single tier in the fame pass this last skin kind of looks like an ss3 skin it looks like some kind of squid it would be fitting for an underwater theme eldritch sky captain all right now let's check out all the items so first skin is batastic pretty solid bat skin we got the sore point emo Okay, so he just gets electrocuted. That's pretty cool. Trick or treat pattern. We got the hide and seek celebration. <laughs> That's creepy. I actually like that. Then we got the wicked witch hat. Then we got the buff bean costume. So we got the upper and we got the lower. So it's kind of like an inflatable costume. You see, you got the zipper on the back. Then we got the jack o' lantern banner with the pumpkins. Okay, that's actually a really good Halloween banner. I'm gonna equip that. I actually like that. Beast master nameplate. Then we got the fearsome Fuchsia faceplate. I have no idea how to pronounce that. I probably pronounced it wrong, but that's pretty cool. And then we got a color that matches with it. Then we got another emote. <laughs> Getting wild. It's like a gorilla noise. We got the bubbling bottom costume. So this is just a lower. There's no upper that goes with this. It's like you're in a cauldron or something. Then we got the poly repaired skin. So it's like a zombie teddy bear or something. We got the glow in the dark faceplate and glow in the dark color as well. That's kind of weird. The color in this case doesn't match the faceplate. It's two completely different colors. I don't know why they have the same name. Maybe that was a mistake. Then we got another emote. giant steps. I like that. Then we got the main skin of the fame pass. This skin is appearing in the middle of all the fame pass images. It's called Squawk Sprockets. I don't even know what this is supposed to be. Some kind of wizard magician bird. <laughs> I don't know, but it's pretty cool. Ooh, then we got the jack-o-lantern helmet. Okay. I actually like that. I'm equipping that. I'm going to equip that. That's literally perfect for Halloween. Oh, and I missed a pattern. We got the goopy pattern. Then we got the oob faceplate. Nice. We got the electric turf color. We got the bad beast costume. Ooh, I actually like that. And it doesn't cover up your entire character, so you could customize it with different colors and patterns. Then we got another emote. That's cool, I like the music. Ooh, then we got the clockwork calamari skin. Okay, this is similar to the final skin in the fame pass that I saw earlier, just a different variation. Then we got the bright shine bat. So this is just a variation of the first skin that you get. So then we got a bunch of crown shards too. Are all the skins from here on out just gonna be variations of the other skins? Because that's usually what they do. Yeah, okay. We got another variation. This one is a variation of the teddy bear. So yeah, they usually do this in most of the fame passes. Once you get past tier 40, it's just a bunch of crown shards mixed with variations of earlier skins, which isn't necessarily a bad thing. I mean, it's better than only having 40 tiers. Although I do wish we would get more original skins throughout the end of the pass. Then we got a variation of the Squawk skin. This one's called Kaka Candy Cogs. Okay, to be honest, I actually like this variation more than the original, I think. It looks like a candy cane. This would be a good Christmas skin. Then we got another variation of this skin. Why are there three variations of this? That's that's kind of unnecessary, but not bad. I like it. I like the green color. Then we got a variation of the buff bean skin. Although this one, you can actually change its color. See, I have the blue color equipped, so it's blue, but you could use any color. So that's pretty cool. Then we got the pretty prankster skin. Another variation of the bat skin. This one's called boggle bat. Why are there so many variations of each skin? The boggle bat and that kraken costume has three variations of it. I don't know, in my opinion, that's just sort of unnecessary. Like I wish it would just give us more original unique costumes instead of just variations. I mean, having one variation of each costume is fine, but when you have three variations of the same costume, 
it does get a little bit repetitive. That's my only gripe. And then finally, the last skin of the Fame Pass, as I saw earlier, the Eldritch Sky Captain. I think my favorite skins of this pass are probably the Jack-O-Lantern helmet that I'm wearing right now because it's just perfect for Halloween. I like the Bad Beast skin. And then the customizable Buff Bean is probably my third favorite. I might wear this sometimes. Look, it's, it's literally like a Buff Jimmy. And you can do all sorts of different colors with it, which is really nice. So I rate this Fame Pass probably a solid 7 out of 10. It's a really good Fame Pass with a lot of tiers. I feel like a little bit more could have been done with the Halloween theme. Like maybe a ghost skin would have been cool. Either way, it's a solid pass. Let me know what your thoughts are in the comments down below and be sure to subscribe to this channel. This is not my main channel that you're watching. This is my other channel called Stentric FG, where I post extra Fall Guys content. This video was actually supposed to be uploaded to my main channel, but because I was so late to check out the Fame Pass, I decided to post it here instead. Because I do know that most people have probably already seen the pass by now. 